Hi student, now it's time to learn some EVS. So let's move ahead with class third EVS second chapter, parts of our body. Now in today's class or today's lesson, we will see that how animals uses their different body parts and what are the function of their different body parts. Now student, let's have a look at the picture of all these animals. And by looking at the picture, it is very clear that the animals look very different than human beings. Hence, also, the body parts of the animals are quite different than we, that is, human beings. Now, let us first see what are the different topics which we are going to cover in today's class. First, we are going to learn how different animals use their different body parts. Next, we are going to learn in today's class what are hooves and what are paws. So, let's have a look how different animals use their different body parts. First, have a look at this elephant. As you can see from the picture, and it is very clear from the picture that this part of the elephant is, student, just tell me what is this part of the elephant called? Yes. This part of the elephant is called trunk. Now, trunk means hoof. So, what is the function of the trunk of an elephant? Or, how does an elephant use its trunk? Now, the trunk helps the elephant to eat food or to put food into its mouth, to drink water, to breathe and to smell. So, the trunk of an elephant acts as its nose as well as its hand. So now student, is it clear that what is the function of the trunk of an elephant or how does the trunk of an elephant help an elephant? Now let's move to the next animal. Now as you can see very clearly from the picture or the image over here that it is a bird. And what is this student? Can you tell me what is this? Yes, this is the wing of a bird. Punk, which we call in Hindi. So what are the functions of the wing of a bird? Or how does the wing of a bird help a bird? Okay, let me just give you the answer. The wing of a bird helps a bird to fly. So a bird flies with the help of its wing. Now, let us just move to the next animal. Okay, now you can share, uh, sorry, you can look from the picture that it's a fish. And what are the students? Yes, these are all the fins of a fish. What are this? These are all the fins of a fish. And can you let me uh, just tell me that what is this? Yes, you are right that this is the tail of a fish. So can you just tell me now okay, what are the function of the fins and the tail of a fish? Okay, a fish swims with the help of its fin and tail. So the fins and the tail of a fish helps a fish to swim. Now our next animal is a cow. And let me just tell you that the cow uses its tail. This is the tail of a cow. The cow uses its tail to chase away insects or to sway away insects. Yanki insect bagate hai cow with the help of its tail. Now the next topic which we are going to learn today is hooves. Let me just tell you what are hooves. Now students do you know that animals like cow, goat, camel, deer, their feet are quite different and their feet we call it as hoof. So what are hooves? Hooves are just the feet of animals like cows, goats, camel, deer, okay? The feet of these animals we will call as hooves. And let me just tell you that these hooves are very hard. Now, let's have a look at this picture. This is a picture of hoof. You can very clearly see from the picture that the feet of a cow or a camel or a goat will look like this. And this we will call as hooves. What we will call? We will call it as hoof. And these hooves are very hard. The next topic which we are going to learn today is paws. Now what are paws? Student, the feet of some animals like cat, leopard, 
tiger and even dogs are called paws okay and these paws are very soft in nature now let's have a look what are paws you can very clearly see from the picture what are paws student the feet of cat dog tiger will look like this okay and this we will call as paws and this paws are very soft let me just tell you so students what we have learned in today's class in today's class we have learned how different animals use their different body parts in different ways okay or how the body parts of different animals help them and next we have learned what are hooves and what are paws now best on all the things which i have taught you in today's class or in today's video lecture here's a whole worksheet for you all to solve and it's a very easy one and you can solve it very easily i know it so students with this we come to an end to today's evs class i hope that you all have enjoyed it.